Hello viewers. Hope you're having a great day. So I'm trying to catch up with Salty Shellback who's been doing a lot of food review and beer review videos. I don't drink beer but I did decide to do a food review. There's a place near me called Brooks Barbecue and I've always been wanting to go there. Uh, they've been open for a couple years now so I figured um, they must, must be doing something right. So uh, I went in there today and decided to try them out. And the first thing I noticed was if you're going to have somebody working the front counter at least have them amicable to saying hello to guests. Okay? I have choices where I'm going to spend my money. And if you're just going to stare me down over the counter instead of asking what my order is, you're probably not going to get a lot of business that way. The second thing is, if you're going to have something on the menu, make sure you have it. Uh, if this is the lunch time, so for me, I eat lunch early. I eat lunch about 11.30 in the morning, somewhere between 11.30 and 1. Yeah, typical military lunch time. So when you're telling me at the beginning of the food service day that you don't have any baked potato that's on your menu, that's a red flag for me. So... There, there was a couple things that put me off for, you know, right away before I even got my food. And I'm thinking, man, do I even want to eat this food? The kid who was helping me just, you know, you could see it in his eyes. He wanted to be anywhere else but there. He would have loved to have been anywhere else but working. And uh, that's not going to fly when you're trying to run a restaurant. So uh, first, what I ordered was a side of uh, brisket beans. I really like uh, charro beans, so a little bit of peppers in there, some beans, a thick gravy, and some kind of meat. I really like that. So uh, let's let's take a look at this. You're gonna open it with me. I don't know what that is. That looks like uh that looks like two inches of grease. It looks like they they took some canned chili and put some grease in it. So yeah, I I guess you know when the service is off and you get your food and uh it looks like somebody poured the grease trap in a in a dish for you, that's not gonna wash. I'm not going to eat that. Um, this is supposed to be beans. This, this is supposed to be beans and with brisket in them. And, and that's just horrible. I wouldn't feed that to my dog. All right. Let's take a look at the brisket. Uh, see if it's any better. Otherwise, I'm going hungry today. And uh, never again will I go back there. Okay, so here's the brisket. And I, I think that's yesterday's brisket. May, maybe two days ago brisket. No onions, no pickles. And uh, that's supposed to be a quarter pound of brisket. <laughs> maybe they were adding the bread and, and sauce weight to that when they weighed it. But, uh, yeah, I'll try it. I mean, I'll take a bite. I mean, let me get a fork. I mean, I don't know what's up with that. The meat is discolored in some places. Like here, it's a different color than here and different color than here. I'm kind of afraid to eat this. I'm, I mean, this is what they're serving? Re look. You can't even put your fork in that. That's fresh barbecued brisket? Not in Texas. 
maybe in Massachusetts or something, but uh, that is not, that is sad. I'm going to try it. I'll try anything once. I've got the, not, I'll ask my wife, she's got 911 standing by, hold on. Yeah, that's crap. I'm not eating that. So, Brooks Barbecue, I'll never, never go back. This was just a waste of money. You can't serve people this and call it food. That's just, that's just wrong. I mean, come on. When your brisket is three different colors and, and your beans are, are a cup of grease and you're calling that barbecue, it's no wonder you weren't full at lunchtime. I, I really wanted to like this place. I was excited because I saw the guy cooking out there when they first opened, he was out there on the grill. Everything looked good and fresh. And uh, I guess they hit hard times, but when you serve food like this and call it barbecue, well, it's no wonder you're having hard times. So I'm not going to even chew this. Yeah. Sorry about that. That went in a napkin. I guess my dog's getting lucky today, but... Uh, yeah, that's sad. That's very sad. You cannot pass this off as barbecue. Cab Trooper Munoz. If you go by Brooks Barbecue on Nacogdoches, keep on driving. It's not worth the stop. I'm out. Look at that layer. Look at that layer of grease on the bottom of that. That's just, there's like a quarter inch of grease in the corner of this serving tray. That's, you know, maybe that was all the grease that was supposed to be in the brisket. I don't mind some grease, but uh, if you're going to have that much grease, you should also have moist brisket. I mean, God only knows when they made that brisket. I'm really disappointed. I mean, how how are you going to serve that to people? You know, and the guy was back there for like 20 minutes. I thought he was cooking. <laughs> he he must have been watching a, a video while he was, you know, waiting to just toss some old nasty brisket into a into a box. Yeah, Brooks barbecue on Nacogdoches. Do yourself a favor. Keep on driving. Okay, so I threw that out there. Let's see if he eats it. It was horrible. I, I mean, brisket should be tender and, uh, oh. Looks like he'll eat it. <laughs> Poor dog, he's the experiment. But yeah, I wasn't going to eat that. Well, looks like he got it. All right, well, the dog will eat it, but uh, looks like I'm having a sandwich or something.